Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to create an animated GIF file using Photoshop. Um, so for mine that I want to create today, I'm going to create a GIF that transitions from a before photo into an after photo. Um, so for me, mine's going to start by displaying the before image, and then I want it to slowly transition into the after photo, which is after my edits have been applied. Um, so what I want to do here is I want to make two layers, basically. Um, and I want one of them to be my before photo, which is already done. My background layer is my before photo. And then I want my second layer to display the photo after it's been edited. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to duplicate my background layer. And I'm going to do that by dragging it down to the sheet of paper icon at the bottom of my layers panel. And then once you let go, you'll notice that it doubles it up and it says background copy. Um, so with that layer, the background copy layer highlighted, I'm going to scroll to the top of the stack in my layers panel hit shift and then click the top layer. And what that does is basically just selects that background copy layer as well as all of the layers that went into my edit. And now I'm gonna right click on these selected layers and hit merge layers. And this will put the whole edit into one photo or one layer, sorry. So basically that's what I wanna do. And now what we can do is go to window timeline and begin to create our GIF. So once this panel pops up, you may notice that it says create frame animation here. You may notice that it says create video timeline. Uh, what we're gonna do is just click that down arrow if you need to and select create frame animation. Once you click this, you'll then still need to click the words to actually get it to start displaying um, your frames down here at the bottom. So once this is done, we are going to click this little um, button over here that has the horizontal lines, and we're gonna select that and choose create, or sorry, make frames from layers. And so this basically tells Photoshop, we want our GIF to have two frames and we want them to be the two layers that we've created over here. Now, once these two frames are popped up, you can choose how long you want them to display when your GIF is playing. Um, so for me, I usually start with the before photo displayed at maybe half a second, and then the after photo displayed at a full second. And then in order to see what these settings look like, you can hit play at the bottom of your screen, and it will play them. If you choose that you'd only like your GIF to play one time, um, it will, and then it will stop. For me, I want mine to play over and over, back and forth, you know, repeatedly, so I'm just gonna choose forever. And then when you hit play, you'll notice that it displays and goes back and forth between these two photos at the amount of time you allotted. So a half a second for the before, a full second for the after. Um, and if that feels off to you, you can adjust those and hit play until you like the effect that's going on. Um, so for me, I'm gonna hit stop here. What I wanna do is basically I want my before and after, so I'm gonna hit play one more time so you can see. I don't want it to be so um, harsh of a transition. I want it to slowly fade into the after photo. So what I'm gonna do um, to create that fading is to make sure that my second frame here is selected. Um, and when it is, you'll notice that Photoshop has automatically turned your background layer off on this layer. Um, for the transition to be smooth in this case, I'm gonna turn that back on for now. And then I'm gonna hit this button at the bottom of the timeline panel that has that um, circle that's slowly like fading out. I'm gonna click that. And then when it pops up, you can change these settings in here if you want to. I usually leave them all at the default, um, including this number here. Um, it wants to add five frames. So I'm just gonna leave it at five and hit okay. And you'll notice that here it used five additional frames to slowly transition into that after effect. And so what it did is it automatically chose a time down here for each of these to display. For me, I want it to be a pretty quick transition. I want it to just slowly um, transition from the before to the after, but each of these, let me hit play for you so you can see. If it slowly, that's a little too slow for me. It's, it will slowly take time for each of those frames before it displays the after. So I am going to just make these a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna make these 0.1 seconds here. And again, you can play this over and over until it's perfect for what you're wanting it to do. Um, and then I'm gonna hit the first frame again and hit play. And I think that looks pretty good. You can actually reduce the amount of time that your after photo displays if you think a full second is too long, or maybe you don't want a, um, a half a second for the first one, you can keep going back and forth with this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave it here. And so once your GIF is playing the way you want it to play, what you'll need to do is just go to File, Export, and then you'll choose Save for Web. And so once this pops up, there are a ton of settings in here you can use to change. Um, 
we can zoom out here to see a little better. I noticed that if I'm in the optimized panel, which it usually is for me by default, I can never really get a clear picture. No, ma no matter how many of these settings over here I, I adjust or play with, um, it always looks a little noisy and kind of low quality. So what I do is I just click original. And this one has a much clearer picture here. Um, and I think that it tends to have a better quality. Um, again, if you asked me why, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but for me, original works better. Um, and then I just hit save. And so what this is gonna do is it's going to save it with the original file name here that you already had. You're welcome to change this if you need to, and then hit save. And then um, it's telling me I already did one at this name. I did it just before as a practice, so I'm gonna hit replace. Yours probably won't pop up with that message. If it does, you may wanna choose a different name for your file so you don't save over your original. And then once this is done, you can find where you saved it and hit play and your GIF will run. You can upload this to your emails that you send out to your clients or put it on Facebook, uh, whatever you like. So if you have any questions about this, you can send me an email at morgan at morganburks.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, feel free to share your GIFs with me. I'd love to see what you're working on. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.